In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing linear equations in three dimensions. When we have three different variables, we have three dimensions on our coordinate plane. And below we see some an example of what that coordinate plane looks like. Remember that we have that extra diagonal line coming through here, which we could think of as coming out of the screen and then back out the back of the screen with the other parts being flat on the screen. So that's that diagonal thing that's going on there. If we're asked to graph equations in those three dimensions, what we need to do is find an x-intercept, a y-intercept, and a z-intercept. That's going to give us three points that we can then connect to form the plane that would be that equation in three dimensions. So to do that again, finding those intercepts, we just put in zero for the other two variables. So I'm going to start out by solving for x. So I put in zero for y and z, so I have 10x. That would be zero. This would be zero equals negative 30. Divide by 10, both sides. And we get x being equal to negative 3. So that's our x-intercept. Then I want to find my y-intercept, so I'm going to put in 0 for x and z. So that gives me 15y equals negative 30. Then divide by 15 on both sides. And we get y is equal to negative 2. Finally, we want to find the z-intercept. So we put in 0 for both x and y. And we're left with negative 6z equals negative 30. Then divide by negative 6 on both sides. Divide by negative 6. And we end up with z is equal to negative 30 divided by negative 6 is 5. Now, I find those po each of those points on my three-dimensional plane here. So the first one, x equals negative 3. Well, I start in my origin. And then that means I'm going to go back to negative 3 on the x-axis. That says 5, so negative 3 should be just a little over half, so right about there. Then we want to find the y-intercept on the y-axis, so negative 2. So that means we're going to go back 2 to about right here. Then finally, I find the z-intercept, which is 5. So that's right up here. Then I can connect the dots and get what that triangle is within my coordinate plane, or within my, my three-dimensional system here. I'm just going to connect the dots and oops, I find my triangle shape looks something like that. So, and remember, that's a plane that's going to extend forever in all directions, but we show up by a triangle when we're graphing in three dimensions like this. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. For that one, uh, we're going to do the same kind of thing. We want to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the z-intercept. So, put in y and z to be 0, so we have negative 6x, oops, let's use the right tool, be in good shape then, negative 6x equals 24, so divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, we're left with x equals negative 4, okay, then find the y-intercept, so I'm going to put in 0 for x and z, so we have 8y equals 24, and that of course y would be equal to 3, divide by 8 on both sides, and finally I want to find the z-intercept, so I'm going to put in 0 for x and y, so then I'm left with negative 12z equals 24, divide that by negative 12 on both sides, and I end up with z being equal to negative 2. Then, finally, I plot those. 
remember we find each of those points on the respective inner on the respective axis because they're the intercepts so this first one negative 4 on the X well here's my X the diagonal one negative 4 is going to put me back somewhere about there then 3 on the Y axis well positive direction for the Y is over here 3 a little over half based on the scale that I have then Z is negative 2 so that means remember Z the positive is up negative is down so add about negative 2 which would be right there then I'm gonna connect the dots and get that triangle that represents the plane that that line really is so connect the dots and there we go remember that's a plane that extends in all directions in in each direction moving out from there to representing all the solutions that are of this linear equation okay graphing linear equations in three dimensions we do that by finding the intercepts to find the intercepts we put in zero for the other two variables other than the one that we're looking for so if we do that then we find those intercepts we find those points on the respective axes axi axes and then we connect the dots we get a triangle which represents the plane that contains the solutions for that equation uh, one last thing to remember remember these are ordered triples really we put in zero for y and z so this first one x equals negative three if we wanted to write that as an ordered triple that would be negative three zero zero would be the point that would get me to to this spot right here in the same way the y is negative two i put in zero for x and z so it's zero negative two zero and then this one z is five the other two i put in zeros for so that ordered triple would be zero zero five I hope this is helpful in terms of graphing these types of equations. Keep working hard on your, that math, and I know you'll do a great job.